Game on. Hey there, game gurus. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at another controller from, well, X Arcade, and it's their X Arcade Tank Stick Max. Now, I've done reviews on lots of different controllers on here, including my own, but the X Arcade is pretty renowned as being, you know, one of the most uh, robust, excellent gaming controllers you could purchase for your home. Now, their older X Arcade was uh, discontinued, and this is their new one. This is their Max with some good surprises in it. So let's take a look, do an unboxing, see what we have inside this. It go for about $250. Um, you can add uh, and change different options, but on average about $250 for them. But uh, let's see what we get inside this beast right here, including some good surprises. Let's take a look. Okay, well the first thing we need to do is, you know, the package is, it's just a cardboard package. You know, even for me, maybe I won't say this package, we know I will, but um, in any case, it's just a box. Let's open this little bad boy up here. Go, and we can see that the unit is very well uh, protected. We have some cardboard inserts, and more importantly, on the actual controllers itself, you can see the joysticks are protected with this piece of cardboard right here. We'll take these out, get them out of the way. Uh, of course, we have our instruction manual and a little Allen key to make some adjustments. We'll get into why you'll need that in a moment. Put that aside. And we have some controllers right here. Uh, controllers, some cables. It looks like a serial nine pin uh, connector, which probably be used to connect to certain things. We'll take a look at that later. And we have, uh, it looks like a uh, nine pin to PS2 and USB, again, for PC connectivity. We have a little baggie in here with our primary connection, which is again, uh, USB and a PS2 connector on here. We also have uh, some connectors on the back, but let's get this thing out of the box. Of course, we have a little silica gel pack. You always have to have one of those. Let's then get out of the box. And these are pretty heavy, which is good when you're playing some games. And let's get this thing out of here as best we can. I guess the box is like, I'll get out of the way for you. Give me just one second here to get the stuff out of the way. Okay, now this is out of the box. You can see here is the main unit. And you can see XRCade is really, really known for making a really solid product. They're using MDF on here, but it's a really solid, thick one. They have a beautiful coating on here, nice artwork on here. Again, this is their new XRCade Max. And uh, the surprise is that you can see we do have spinners on here, which I'll spin. And we have some good ball bearings on them. And a trackball. The surprise is the trackball that's in this one and the spinners are GRST Sticks products. That's right. X Arcade is using our trackball and spinners in this current X Arcade Max. Now you can see they have really nice joysticks in here. They have a good solid spring in here. This comes right back with bat tops on it. They have six main buttons plus two more for a total of eight. There is a, uh, uh, a button over here for certain functions. Right, There's a sticky on there still. And get that off. There we go. Get that off. There are actually buttons on the side as well. So you want to play like pinball, right? You want to play pinball. Got some buttons right there. We have a nice trackball in here. So my spinners are still spinning. There's a multi-mode uh, 1 through 4 on the back, uh, PS2, and a serial connector here for connecting you know, these cables here for different functions. And there's two additional buttons on the back. And of course, we have our USB cable and uh, PS2 cable right here. So these are pretty well-renowned well for just being solid gaming devices. And I'm really excited, again, to be partnered with them uh, using uh, our spinners and trackball in here. But let me go through the manual real quick and kind of see other things you could do. Now there is a small hex wrench in here and that is if you need to remove these uh, spinner tops on here, which we'll do in a second. See which, what we could do with that over there. And actually I'll do that first. So we got a little hex wrench right here, like so. And it's in its own little baggie, we'll take that out. So again, these uh, go for about $250 once again, um, but you can add different options. So the price can still fluctuate a bit for but generally they're about $250 for the unit. We'll put a hex wrench in here and turn the little hex nut a little bit. And it's using our small top right here. So in theory, um, you can use like our Tron for a buttonhole spinner, because that's basically what this is. It's a buttonhole spinner, but this uh, is not a Hall Effect one. This is a standard optical spinner, um, which we've made available in our, our trackball spinner combination. But you can see good quality ball bearings, still spins quite a bit even without an aluminum top on it. But I'm going to stop that, put this one back on. But again, if you're using a buttonhole top, like my Tron one, um, it would be compatible with this if you wanted to put something like that on. 
I think I'll go the right way to, to lock this thing. Righty tighty, lefty loosey is the old saying, right? There we go. And let's lock that in place. Again, you don't have to make it super, super tight, but you do want it to be semi tight. Yeah, baby, so there we go. We'll spin yeah. them again. And they give you a nice manual in here. Now, this is compatible with all different types of devices, the, the tank stick. So you can definitely connect your XRK to uh, like your PS2. Uh, it'll connect to that fine. Your Xbox will connect to that as well. Some of the cables are extra cost. Um, you can also connect it, uh, you know, uh, to a console with a mouse connector uh, on it as well for your Xbox. So for the, I think for the most people watching my show anyway, you probably connect this to a Raspberry Pi or a PC or a Mac and use MAME or one of those other emulators. But you could connect it to a console like an Xbox or, or a PS2 as well. But uh, I'm going to put it onto my machine right now and just try it out with some games. I have, you know, this is uh, Donkey Kong up on the back, but it's, it's a hacked version of Donkey Kong. But I'm going to use this on a PC primarily. And uh, again, the weight and the feeling of this thing is really, really good. You can see on the sides here, there are the buttons you can use for pinball for you know, flipper and for nudging. They have one of those on both sides right there. And of course on the back, they have additional buttons back here. Here we go. Additional buttons back here. And this is if you were connected to like a console, like an Xbox or PS2 or some other type of system. Uh, but this thing is really, really solid. Um, it's got a bunch of rubber feet in the bottom so it doesn't move. And it's got real T molding around it as well. But the best part for me is my spinners and trackball. So we'll try some spinner games, try some trackball games, and of course we'll do some joystick games as well. So let's hook this up to a computer and try out some of the games. Okay, let's take a look at the back. There's so much going on in the back, I want to show you something really quick. So the buttons back here, this button is a programming button if you want to make some special functions on the unit. Now if you play games like Golden T, and you really need to spin that trackball, and you want to make sure it's only going up and down, not left and right, this is a horizontal stabilizer. Pressing this will disable left and right and only let you go forward or back when that's clicked. And of course back here we have our connectors. Now this cable is going to be required uh, to connect to the PC for the joysticks and buttons to work. This cable right here that comes out with the PS2 and the USB is solely for the trackball. And the trackball will be seen in the PC as a, as a mouse because obviously that's most of the way my trackballs operate. So you will be needing this cable right here which has a nine pin cable on it. So I'm gonna open this thing up right here. Pull this one out. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this DB9 cable right here and this one, and I'm gonna connect these two together, like so. Now there's a PS2 on here as well as a USB, as you can kind of see, and the same with the trackball. So if you have an older machine, you can still use the PS2s. But we're going to be using the two USBs. This USB will give me my, my trackball and spinners, and this will give me my keyboard and joysticks. That's really it. I'm going to connect it to a PC and just set up the MAME, and we give this thing a try. Okay, so once you connect your XRK to your PC, again, it's going to use two USB ports. One's going to be for your trackball and spinners, and one is going to be for your joystick and buttons. Once you connect it, it's basically the joystick and the buttons are seen as a keyboard. So just go into MAME, map your keys to the game, which I've already done, map your trackball and your spinners, and that's it. So let's go take a look at some gameplay. So for this, to see that screen over there, I'm gonna need these glasses. So I'm gonna put them on and let's try out some games. I'm gonna start off with Naughty Boy, with his regular joystick. I'm gonna put in my coin. That dragon. The joystick feels excellent. I mean, the XRK joysticks are fantastic. Not too shabby. Ah! 
This game is not easy. But again, the joystick feels fantastic. It's got a nice weighted spring in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, get up! One more! One more! Oh! Game over. All right, let's try another game. A lot of stress in Naughty Boy. It's a very hard game. So I'm going to escape out of here. And I'm going to pick another game. I'm going to try a uh, dual joystick game. I always like Crazy Climber. So I'm going to pick Crazy Climber. And this will be using both joysticks at the same time. So I'm going to again put it in my quarter. And you can map the buttons any way that you want. Uh, this is where I map mine. Again, the buttons on here can be also set up for if you want to play some pinball games. You can do things like that. But I map mine where I put this button here as my coin, play at one start, I have my escape and enter over here. And of course, the regular six buttons I'm going to use. I, I play very simple games. I don't need like all the buttons, so I'm fine with it. <laughs> And if you've ever played Crazy Climber or Robotron or any of those games, dual joysticks, quality joysticks makes a big difference in the game. If I can get my arm over there, there we go. Poop on me. Now I'm going to be trapped. Oh, gross. This machine is absolute beast. It's not moving at all. It's got a great weight to it. It just has rubber feet. You know, I'm using these joysticks back and forth, and the machine's not moving one inch. Corners there. But I made it. Oh, double pots. Oh, close. This thing is solid as a rock. It is a tank, like they say. These joysticks are fantastic. Very far in the game, so it doesn't really matter what I have. I'm just <laughs> that good. 
But I got my name in there. So we get my name in there. Oh, is it this? I could do this, maybe? There we go. Oops. There we go. I got first place. Well, when I escape out of here, let's see what other games we're going to try here to try this thing out. Okay, now when it comes to spinner games, you have to play Tempest. Atari Tempest is one of those games with a spinner that that spinner really needs to spin, and this will spin for quite a while. So let's launch the game and just see how it is. Let's put a coin in. Start right at the beginning. You can see I could spin that quite a ways. Well, it's still going to spin even though I'm dead. So we're going to keep going. Look at that. That just spins and spins and spins. Now, some people will say that's not how you know, Tempest was in the arcade. The point of the fact is it just really spins really, really well. Oh, take it out by spikes. Oh, but I got my name in first place. Oh, wait for my little screen to catch up here. It's an old TV set. Uh, I'm going to play some missile commands. I'm going to use my trackball right here and do some missile command. There's three buttons right here. So let's launch up Missile Command. All right, I'm going to put a coin in. And one player. Oh, did I do it? There we go. Of course, the trackball has got really, has a really, really good weight to it. It's got some inertia with it. And of course, you can just sense uh, the sensitivity, how fast the ball moves. I usually leave it at default, but it probably could be sped up a little bit. The 
finish on this thing is really nice too, nice and smooth. Nice spin on there. Save this one city. All right. Still going. That's that. Get your old name put in there. All right, let's try some spinner games out. Now, I'm really going to go old school with the uh, spinner games. I'm going to pull Pong, and it's just me. So, I'm going to be doing both paddles, but I love Pong, and there's no one here to play with, so I'm going to play with myself. Say what? So, this is actually a TTL game, which is a, uh, basically it's logic chip. There's no CPU in Pong, but it's just a game I love, uh, and I'm going to play it. So, here we go. See how I do this. Ah. This is going to be bad, people. Now, it's funny. When I was younger, I could play this blindfolded. My hands would be going crazy doing it. But my hand coordination is definitely not what it used to be. But you can see how smooth both paddles are. Even though I can't hit a ball to save my life. Oh my lord. Oh my god. There we go. Let me give my final thoughts of the X Arcade Tank Stick Max. 
Okay, so once again, this was sent to me for the point of view. I know that has to be said a million times in a video. But even if I didn't get it, um, this is a really quality product. I mean, this thing weighs quite a bit. It doesn't move when you're playing the games. These joysticks are probably one of the best you're going to get in the business. They feel fantastic. Great spring action back to center with these bat tops. Uh, the trackball is large. It's got a lot of, a lot of inertia when, you, when you're spinning it. You want to play like a golf game or like Missile Command or you know, other games. Centipede, of course, is one you might want to play. And the spinners here, these things are really good. Again, they're not my Hall Effect spinners. They're my optical spinners we include with my trackball spinner combo kit. But uh, great spinning ability. Um, you can play Tempest. You can play Breakout. You can play Pong. All those types of games right there. Um, the buttons, you have more than enough buttons on here. You have side buttons on the machine. Now, one thing I, I do want to mention, on the back of the unit right here, there's a button you press when you're playing a golf game where it'll limit, or actually disables left and right. It only goes up and down, but you have to hold it. You have to be pressing it while you're doing it. I would have preferred this versus being a spring button, be a lock button, so you can lock it in place and just keep going and going. But right now, as far as I can tell, I have to hold this button in as I spin to uh, stop the left and right movement if I, if I wanted to. I, I generally don't do it anyway, but I think that would have been better with a, a press and lock button versus a press and release button. Um, again, this could be used with your Xbox. It could be used with your PS2. Other game consoles, there's a bunch of different cables online. There's some free games you can even download online with it. But if you're using it for MAME uh, on a PC or in RetroPie, um, it basically is seen as a, a keyboard. That's really what it's seen like. So pretty much anything's going to be compatible with it. And of course, the trackball and the spinners are seen as mice. But the finish on here, uh, maybe that doesn't even like the style of it. They have the artwork is on here, but I don't mind it. But the finish on it is really fantastic. And this T-molding on it, it's real actual T-molding all the way around. Feels great. The rubber feet hold it in place really, really well. So if you are looking for like one controller you want to have for pretty much everything that has joysticks for you and your friend or games like Robotron and Crazy Climber, Centipede, uh, Crystal Castles, uh, you know, Tempest, Tron. You can play Tron with this type of uh, setup. Um, it's really, for $250, it's a quality, quality device. And if that's what you're looking for, you can't go wrong with the X-Arcade Max. This thing is fantastic. But that's it for this video. Uh, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me in the YouTube algorithms. Um, and if you are not a current subscriber, please consider doing so. That helps me out as well. But this thing is fantastic and as fun it is and playing you know, old school games like Pong by yourself, which is maybe not as fun, but keeps me entertained. Um, it is fun. But remember always take a moment to tell family and friends that you love them. Call your mom, call your dad, call a brother, call a sister. Just tell a friend. You know, you respect them, you miss them, and let them know you care because, you know, tomorrow is never promised. But in between those times, get a friend and play Pong the right way. And then game on. Now you're looking for that arcade experience at home, but you don't have the space for a full-size arcade in your house or endless funds, then you need the GRS Build-A-Cade. It's arcade quality without the arcade price, from someone you can trust. The GRS Build-A-Cade is a very simple, easy to assemble, one six scale arcade computer you can build yourself. You can buy interchangeable controllers for every gaming option you need to play the games the way they're meant to be played. You can also design your own artwork or purchase artwork separately to make your GRS Build-A-Cade look like the machine of your dreams. The GRS build a is also the only home system STEM certified. Come see what all the YouTube creators are raving about. GRS build a -Cade. Sit, blue, blue, sit. Good dog.